In this video, we will show you oculomotor exercises to treat patients with cervicogenic dizziness. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Deficits in cervical joint position sense, eye movement control and postural stability are often noted in patients with traumatic neck pain and cervicogenic dizziness due to abnormal cervical afferent input. A tailored sensory motor control program based on the individual deficits has been designed by Trilevin et al. in the year 2008. In part 2 of this video series, we will focus on ocular motor training including eye follow, gaze stability, saccadic eye movement and eye-head coordination exercises. Ask your patient to keep the eyes focused on a target. This can again be a pen or the patient's own thumb. Now the patient moves his head into flexion and extension and rotation while keeping his eyes on the target. Neck or trunk movement can also be induced by the examiner if this is easier for the patient to start with. A variation of this exercise is to ask the patient to fixate his gaze on a point, close his eyes and perform a neck movement and open his eyes after the head movement to check for stable gaze on the target. Saccadic eye movement Ask the patient to follow and fixate a target with his eyes that is moved quickly in different directions and then held still voluntarily. Another option is to have the patient move his eyes between two different targets. This can again be done in horizontal direction first, followed by vertical position or random positions in space. Progression can include increasing the speed of the movements, position of the patient and the visual background or focus point. Eye head coordination. Ask the patient to move the eyes and head in the same direction to focus on a target in both left and right and up and down directions. As a progression, the eyes are moved first and then the head, ensuring the eyes keep focusing on the target. This can be performed again to the left, right, up and down. Another progression could be to move the target and the head into opposite directions. For home practice, the patient could hold the target in front of them and move the target and the head into opposite directions. The patient should also practice moving the eyes, head, neck and arm following their thumb or moving the eyes, head, neck and trunk to look as far behind as possible. Another variation is to use a pair of swimming goggles that have been blackened out except for a small area in the center of each side while the patient is asked to follow a slowly moving target by active neck rotation. Temporary reproduction of dizziness is acceptable during the exercises, however, exacerbation of neck pain or headache is not acceptable. If this occurs, the exercises should be modified by decreasing the number of repetitions or altering the patient's position 
to a more supported position, such as supine lying. The following table gives you an overview about different various methods of progression for these exercises. All right, this was our video on oculomotor exercises for cervicogenic dizziness. If you are curious about other management options for cervicogenic dizziness, check out the video right next to me. A lot of this information and much more can be found on our future course on the spine on our website study.physiotutors.com. Of course, we'll be happy if you leave a like and follow our channel. This was Kai for Physiotutors. Thanks a lot for watching. See you.